Merry Christmas and welcome to a really exciting video. If you just got the notification for this video and you're watching it as I've uploaded it, it is 12 o'clock noon on Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas everybody. Today I've got a really special video, we're going to be finally working on this absolutely monster elm called the Titan. Now it's not just me working on this tree, we have uh, contributions coming in from other bonsai artists. Um, firstly, Callan of Rosian Bonsai, DR of DR Bonsai and John of MD Designs. So this is a collaborative effort. I'm going to be putting up some pictures and some images now to show you different people's ideas with this tree. And it's really helped me to bounce ideas off of other people, um, people with maybe more experience or just different viewpoints than me about this tree. This tree is so special. If you don't know about it already, I'll link the video here. I've owned this since June of this year, so six months or so, and I'm ready to do the first pruning. Let's have a look. So the red tape marked out is John's um, suggested prunes, and we're gonna just go through some of those and look at why. First, say hello to our bonsai Cornwall gonk, and this lovely Christmas stone that I picked up. How cool is that? So we need to start by looking at the overall image of the tree. I think it is a really cool tree with an absolutely fantastic trunk. I love the hollow. It's one of my favorite features of the tree. But if you look at every single branch, they are dead straight and very boring. And all the ramification and the leaves and all of those nice fine branches and twigs are right towards the end. I really want to reset this tree back and get it back to where it needs to be to develop a nice canopy again. So these bits of red tape are going to be my cut points and I'm going to make a nice clean cuts. Um, we've got some diseased branches in here that's why they're kind of throwing out that horrible weird cork bark effect so those need to come off straight away um, this back branch very very thick in comparison to the other branches so we're going to be cutting that back and keeping on top of that through the next growing season other than that i think it's going to be a case of just getting into it and resetting these branches back um, and i'll show you that as i get on with it so tools, remember, nice, sharp and clean tools, um, nice, sharp saw and my two different kinds. I'm going to be sealing these cuts um, as we are approaching the winter now. And I don't want the ends to sort of dry out. Um, I can offer this tree winter protection. That's kind of why I'm more keen to get on with it now. <music> disproportional to the tree. So here's a good example of diseased branches. So you can tell the difference in the bark, one and two. So uh, I learned a lot from John when talking about this, and this is a good sign because it means that the disease is out of the tree. However, we do need to get rid of it as quickly as possible. So even if I was thinking about using that branch, I no longer will, and that one as well. Unfortunately, when you, when you buy a tree like this, this is one of those things that you can't protect against. You don't know the tree's full history, and there's no way that when this thing was covered in leaves that I'd be able to see any of these things but often is the case once you see one you start to see more i've got one two and three more to do there i'm 
and because of those disease branches we are in fact left with not much of a branch there so I'm just gonna bite the bullet and take that one back to there it was sort of competing to be the leader anyway um, or the apex rather of the tree all right let's get you stood back a little bit so that should give you a bit of a rough idea of that first pruning so then cut site management what we're looking at is oh let's get a new blade shall we nice clean blade i'm just going to come in expose that nice green cambium layer nice clean cut stop any bacteria getting in and the cold wind of winter as well so i've spoken about cut paste before but we've got this one that i use for the larger uh, wounds and then a cut putty uh, from nature geist stick it over the site like so all right i won't show you them all i'll just get it done so before we get into thinning the apex um, I really was contemplating getting rid of this back branch here I'm just leaving this one um, but I think that one will have to wait till next year um, moving around then we've got this cluster of three here and I'm contemplating getting rid of this one here um, because actually we've got that to fill in the gap and this I'm not sure it does too much then again last night we cut this but actually if i'm only keeping that for this weird pretty useless branch i'm just going to take it off because it is by far the thickest branch and you know this is going to be a total reset for the tree so that one's coming off too what do you want for Christmas? Ho, 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 ho! Pose. Pose. Now it's time to address the apex of the tree. So we're just going to bring in this part down a bit. Pose. about what just happened um it was meant to just be an apex but i ended up getting rid of this branch i'm uh, taking this one back wire in there like that and yeah just basically cleaning up i uh, i kind of got to a point where i was pruning and i thought to myself why i'm just going to be here again um and actually i'll bring you in to show you just how many options we have in this area that i just pruned quite harsh so if we look in so I've just taken this big straight branch off. There's loads of options in there. Um, just taking this one back, loads of options there. And if we look in here, we've got little advantageous branches popping out of everywhere. Um, so those will wake up next year and think, wow, I've got loads more energy and space. And we'll go from there. So what's next for the tree then is going to be to add some wire so we can position these branches into place. So there we are, a little bit of wire. Um, didn't bother wiring this branch because it's not going to be there for very long. Um, just brought this pad down, brought this one down. Um, wired out just a couple of ones. This one was sticking up. And this is a new shoot that I wanted to just make sure it's going the right sort of direction. Other than that, I think because I've <laughs> eliminated those branches, um, now it is done. Wow, what a difference. Let's have a look back now to when we first started working on this tree. Look how many branches there are, look how straight. Um, look at where all of the branching actually happens, all of the ramification is the, at the end of those long straight pieces. Um, so yeah, it's looking back at it now, I am really 
yeah, I'm really grateful um, for the advice that I got. And I do agree that this tree just needed a really major setback um, or, or a reset rather. And that's exactly what it's had. So that's really, really cool to see. Looking at the tree now then, um, I'm really happy with what I've done. I'm really happy with the branching. Um, I kind of know where to go with this tree for going forward. Um, as far as next year then, we know which branches we're going to let just run wild. We know which branches we're going to be trying to sort of tame a little bit. And then lastly, what we need to be then thinking about is what we're going to do with the deadwood. Now that's going to be next year's project. Um, if I don't acquire the right tools by the time I'm ready to do the work, then DR of DR's Bonsai has offered to bring his Dremel <laughs> and Makita with him. So we could be doing it together in a collaborative video um, later on in 2024. Um, if you'd like to see that, then, you know, drop a comment down below and make sure to press like. Lastly, what I would like to ask you is, what is your opinion on repotting this tree? Now, the percolation of the soil is still pretty good on this elm. Um, the water does drain through. Um, I do water it, you know, a couple of times just to make sure because it is one of the, it is the, you know, probably the largest tree that I have. Being that the percolation is good, I don't believe it's in desperate need of a repot, but because it's a tree that I've not owned or started myself, then I don't know what the roots are going to be like. So the temptation and sort of the eagerness within me is what's driving me to want to repot this in the spring. Um, the only downside to that is that those roots that are there are holding the energy that's going to push this tree forward. So if I'm thinking about what's best for the tree, I do think that leaving it for a full growing season after this reset will probably benefit it. But whether I'll be able to actually do it is just a, another thing. So leave me a comment. Would you would you go ahead repot? Would you do a partial repot? Um, would you just leave it alone? Let me know. So what's left is to say a massive Merry Christmas. If you want to see working on the deadwood and all of the growth that's going to happen uh, with this tree next year, then if you haven't already, what you need to do is press that subscribe button. It's free and it helps out the channel loads. So if you could do that for me, I'd be really grateful. Now go, what are you waiting for? Go and enjoy your roast dinner, time with family, get with YouTube and go and have some time. Jokes aside, uh, lots of love to everybody. Thank you so much to my great friends that have helped me, especially MD. You really, really came in and did a solid with this tree and really helped me with the guidance that I needed. Merry Christmas, everyone. Wherever you are in the world, make sure you're taking care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoy the videos and you'd like to support the channel, please consider following the links in the description. Here you'll find links to the Amazon wishlist. This is the best way to help the channel. Alternatively, you can buy these t-shirts. Please email or DM me to find out how you can get those. Lastly, the easiest way to help support the channel is drop a like on this video and please press the subscribe button. That would mean the world to me. Thank you so much.